Okay, it should be live now. We watch the chat to see if it goes. There we go. Oh! I don't know how loud the music is, so I'm gonna have to have people tell me. I have no idea what's going on. Mm. I'm gonna amputate my leg. Hi, everyone. Let's see if I can open the chat on my phone. Hello there, how are you? Newsflash, I still have poison ivy. Hi, Smokescreen. Well, hello there. <laughs> hey. Hello there. I'm doing pretty good. We were doing crafts. Um, and I'm good other than the fact that I still have poison ivy. Which has chosen now to itch. And distract me. Okay. Alright, I've got the chat open. Hi, everyone. Hi, Cypress, me and my cousins are watching you from the pool. We all love you. That sounds fun. I'd like to be in a pool right now. Kind of. It's too hot outside even for swimming. All right. Let's just go to the drawing. Drawing. Ugh. Trying sitting a different way today to see if I can aggravate my poison ivy less. Hi, Cypress. Hope you're having a good week so far. Uh, it's been pretty okay. It's been so long that I feel like it's, like, Monday right now. Are you planning on drawing today, Cypress, by the way? Let's see. Yes, I am drawing today. Not sure what yet. That's my favorite ice cream. Mm, cookies and cream. What about you? Mmm, that's a cookie dough. Oh, that's my second favorite. Mm. It's very good. <sighs> I think I'm gonna draw some more of my OCs. I'm actually gonna draw two OCs that I kind of have a story for. I don't really have an, a story for most of my OCs, but these two I kind of do. I wanted to ask if you'd ever do a drawing your sees to celebrate 50k or another go goal. Probably not. Cypress doesn't have Discord boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being slandered by my own moderator. <laughs> Who's gonna moderate my moderator? Nobody. She's out of control. I know I want to draw them, but not really where. I wrote a story for these guys when I was like 13. And I remember like bits and pieces of it. I had grand plans of making a comic that did not pan out. You should pick an OC you don't have a story for and we can all make one for it. That would be fun. Unfortunately, I do actually have a story for these guys. How many OCs do you have? Um, I think like 12. Never thought I'd have any, but here I am. No, it's my favorite number. What is your favorite animal? The mm. cows. It's either cows or draft horses. No. Cows are my favorite for eating. <laughs> draft horses are my favorite. What great goals do you have? Do you have planned characters, comic for them, or another what-if project? Um, I am working on a big project right now. I'm nearly halfway done. It's set to come out in like two weeks if I don't fall behind. It's going very well. I have a question. Have you ever done the Dragon Sheep's hybrid challenge? 
Nope, I don't remember the particulars of it. Was it like random generation or something, or do you just pick two tribes and go with it? Because if that's the case, I've done that before. That was our fight anyway. It's a cold August? <laughs> Where on earth do you live? It's like the heat index here is 120 or something right now. Yeah, you go outside and immediately die. Yeah. Like a KO. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go. Um, it was good. I missed win? the last three weeks of it, so that was disappointing. What? Well, because I was working. Did you win? I was super busy. I mean, my team won, yeah. Um, they haven't announced the winners yet, but I know we did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was very unbalanced team-wise this year. What team were you on? Werewolf. Yep. Smokescreen says my August is pretty good. Join a D&D campaign and it's kind of cold. Cold? Where are you guys and can I move there if it's in Texas? <laughs> Australia, that's why it's cold. Okay, that makes sense. Dang, okay. summers rarely reach about 30 degrees where you are. I mean, I'm Fahrenheit scale, so I don't know if that makes a difference. Because I know some people, you know, anybody not from the USA, don't use it. But. Thirty is your skin boiling. I guess it would be since you're technically on the it's opposite so side of the world. You watched Rise of Beasts a week or so ago. Prime was kind of annoying this time. Really? Hmm. I liked Optimus in that movie. I feel like it was definitely a different take on him than usual. But I feel like he was kind of just like feral almost like he was just grumpy the whole time he was everybody always he complains was that bay vs optimus is like too grumpy and then this movie was like you thought that was bad and then just made him like a hundred times worse <laughs> which i thought was hilarious because i didn't really go into the movie expecting it to be like a shockingly good piece of transformers media because those movies all kind of suck so i was kind of just there for laughs you know and it definitely fulfilled What tribe is the dragon you are drawing right now? He's a sandwing. I'm not exactly sure what the dragons in the drawing are doing, which is a problem. Okay. Whew. Personally, I love the Optimus Prime in that movie. I've had to watch it twice because of my dad. Are you drawing jazz? Nope, I am not. I saw it three times. I went once, and then I went with some of my family, and then I went a third time with some of my family again. So I saw it three times in theaters. Nerd. It was good. I would have gone and seen it a fourth time if Summer hadn't picked up speed. I'm going to try a more dynamic pose, perhaps. Have you heard the new Neoni song? I'm in love with it. Is that is it that called Funeral? If that's the one you're talking about, then yeah. It was very it is very good. Okay, I'm struggling with my sketch, so I'm gonna go back to <laughs> basics. Mm -hmm.
What made you interested in dragons, and why did you choose to read Wings of Fire of all the dragon books? Um, I read How to Train Your Dragon when I was a kid, and I fell in love with it and started just, like, literally, like, picking up every book I could find with a dragon on the cover and just going from there. Points to whoever guesses which OCs these are first. It's going to be pretty obvious. I'm on book 11 right now, and are you going to read the Warrior Cats book series? I actually already have read them. Ages and ages and ages and ages ago. Oh, Sunburst Studios got it, or at least they're the first one I saw. It is Sandstone and Starfin. Indeed. Indeed. Indubitably. You drew them in art fight? That's cool. I really did enjoy art fight this year. I just completely ran out of time to participate in any way. Which is unfortunate because I had been looking forward to it all year. Cyprus. I'm doing good. Itchy. What a kind question. It is a kind question. Nobody ever asks how you are. You asked how I was like <laughs> when we saw each other today. That's true. People ask how I am pretty much 15 times a day. That seems like a bad thing. No, because you see someone you're like, hi, how are you? And they're like, good, how are you? And then you're like, good. So technically, people ask me all the time. It's just how part of a routine really greeting. good are you? I'll be good once John is happy. Aww. We're watching Ruby right now, and for anybody who's watched it, we're on what, season six? Yes. Yeah, we watched season six on Wednesday. Gosh, that was not very long ago. <laughs> Anyways, on Wednesday, and she has a video of me crying afterwards, which is <laughs> blackmail that I wish she doesn't have. Yes. But it was sad. And I am desperate to watch the next season tonight. Clipto hoped your poison ivy isn't too bad, and they're sorry you got it. That's very kind of you, and it's terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. I've had it on this one leg for like two months now, and I, I thought I'd gotten rid of it because I scratched it so bad on accident that like all my skin was gone. So I was like, well, if I don't have skin, I can't have poison ivy, right? Well, the skin finally grew back, and the poison ivy came with it. So now my leg just hurts all the time and I still have poison ivy. And it's spreading to my other legs and my arms again. So. It's been a special kind of... Alcon says John. Is that your boyfriend? John. <laughs> He's a character from the Ruby, Ruby yeah. Dragon says your main OC is so beautiful. Aw, thank you. 
That's sweet. Coffee. You remember? I mean to laugh at your pain, but you should see a doctor. Well, I could get a steroid shot if I really wanted to, but I don't like getting shots. I don't really want anybody injecting things into my body, so I'm just gonna like deal with it. I've tried pretty much every home remedy and like itch cream in the book by now. I covered my whole leg with band-aids this morning. <laughs> I should have used gauze and tape, but that didn't really do much. So, we'll see. Scared of needles? I'm not scared of needles. I'm scared of what they're putting in the needles. I don't really go to the doctor very often. The last time I went to the doctor, it was because a brown recluse bit me and I was in danger of losing a leg. <laughs> do I read the chat? Indeed I do, Lloyd. I am trying to read and draw at the same time though, so it's... I miss a lot of stuff. I've got a friend here who's reading to me and like helping me catch stuff, but... I miss a lot. Can y'all hear the music? I forgot to ask. Or is it like too loud or too quiet? Because I can mess with the volume. Summer Studio says Lloyd. <laughs> it's Lloyd, Dad. No, L L O I D. I named you. You ruined my life. There's no music. Okay, it must be too quiet. I'm always thinking it's too loud. Okay, I will try turning it up. How about now? Can you hear it now? Did I forget to... No, it's definitely in my system. Okay, can you hear it now? Too loud. Okay, too much. Lower, please. They're saying lower. It's too loud now. How about now? Okay, guys. How how is it now? Too loud or too quiet? That's better. Good now. Okay. Will y'all tell me if it's too loud or too quiet? That should be good. It is clean, or it should be. I think it's all clean. Uh, if it's not clean, it's only because I miss something. I try to have clean music. Dan says, How could I ruin your life? I wasn't even there. <laughs> What's funny is that my friend who's with me has never seen those movies, or the show, or any of that. But because I never shut up about it, she knows a bunch of stuff from it. Like, enough to send me songs that fit the characters. Which I think is sad on my part. I, I just never shut up about Ninjago. I have other fixations. And then about every six months, I text her like, oh my goodness, Kai. And it's sad. <laughs> Is your friend related to you? Nope. Unfortunately. She doesn't want to be related to me. When did you make the Cypress animation? It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Um, it's old. I made it a while ago. Well, not like super old, but... Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well, thank you. I know the pain of wanting to participate in something. I have to redo my Gunpla Builders with World Cup entry. Hmm. I'm actually doing a commission for them right now. Or I was supposed to, but I ran out of time. So I'll have to do it tomorrow. What Transformers character is your favorite? Oh, it's so hard. Um, if you're talking about like Transformers Prime, it's either Smokescreen or Knockout or Wheeljack. Oh gosh, they're all so good though. But like, I'm really getting into like comics, Prowl and Jazz. Prowl is just a special kind of, oh my goodness, like, it's, it's, it's a lot, I like it. But honestly, all of them are pretty awesome. I'm really, really, really into Transformers right now. I watched 4 and 5 two weeks ago, and then I watched 5, no, then I watched 4 again pretty much two days later. While, while I was drawing. The movies are great because you can kind of like watch them while you're doing other stuff. You don't really have to pay attention. You can just like watch when Optimus is on screen. Have you ever done adoptables? If you haven't, I think you should. I would love to adopt one. Um, I have thought about doing adoptables, but I have a crippling fear that I will like do it and then nobody will want any and then I'll be sad. So I haven't done any yet. But I want to someday. Maybe that would be a good what's his face to do later. <laughs> and we just had pizza and had this conversation actually. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The part where we disagreed was whether olives should go on with the pineapple. No. I love olives. And she likes all the vegetables except for olives. None of which should be on pizza. Have you watched the OG animated Transformer show? The animated movie is also amazing. I want to. It is on my list. The problem is, if I haven't already seen it, I need time to like actually sit down and enjoy it. And right now, the only new thing I'm watching is Ruby because I do it when I'm like free. So the trans, the original, the Transformers animated is like, it is at the top of my list right now. I hear it's really funny. I I've seen some clips and it's like crazy how young all the voice actors sound. Which, I mean, makes sense because it's old, but still. What are y'all's favorite Transformers characters? I just want to talk about Transformers. Forget Wings of Fire. Mm -hmm. And he was Swifty. I was up until like her last two albums. <laughs> I do like Taylor Swift quite a bit. have some really fabulous music. You should totally try her stuff. I'm particularly a fan of like her mid-career stuff. Like, after her country phase and before her sad slow music phase. I like, like, um, those middle three albums. 
characters' names I can't at present remember. Do you have any Transformers OCs? Nope. I have considered getting into drawing Transformers, but I don't have the time to, like, give it any serious attention at the moment, which brings me grief. So instead I watch the movies a bunch while I draw. <laughs> Transformers is kind of fun, kind of like DC, because there's just, like, so much of it and it's so wild and, like, like, just totally insane that you can kind of find something for everybody in it. Transformers, it's wild. I, don't, I barely know like anything about it, but it's just funny as heck. Is Abigail here? Yes, she is. She is on our couch, her couch, technically. We were doing crafts earlier. She was letting me make a mess on her table. I got this thing that I thought would be one thing, and then it turned out to be litter from hell. So... There's glitter all over the craft table right now. Where I teach, we actually have a glitter tax. And it's $200. We actually had a planning meeting last week, and one of the ladies who teaches, she was like, Yep, I was the last glitter tax offender. And then it was really funny, she was like, I thought, I thought I could control it! And we all started laughing. Redrawing some of my OCs. Whew. Their names are Sandstone and Starfin. I haven't seen any in quite a while either. I'm just a special kind of obsessed with it that comes from watching it 400 times when I was younger. Your most developed OC, and who is the OC with your favorite design? Um, I think at the moment, Sandstone and Starfin would be my most developed OCs, and Jazz probably has my favorite design. Jazz or Jasper?
Do you have any siblings? Also, love your channel. Best lips ever. I have a bunch of siblings. I have five younger siblings. We were that family. I love them, though. Did your friend just shut up and go silent or leave you? I think she fell asleep. No, I'm awake. Okay, well, she looks like she's asleep. I'm just listening, okay? My she's eyes just are listening. so dry. She's dying. Very sad. I shall inherit her house so and all of her belongings. And I get it out of my car to run errands at work, and it's just like cool. Yep. Oh my goodness. Do you want fruit loops? I'll get you some. Well, I'll get you some. What do you feel? You like I do. If I'm gonna have it. So when is your grandma streaming? <laughs> what am I hearing? Oh. <laughs> oh. I think they all miss you more than they care about me. Oh, very nice to see you. <laughs> I will burn my eyes. Do you need like eye drops or something? Well, probably, but. <laughs> but nah. Whew. I thought you taped your wall and taped your mouth. What is this? What? I thought you taped it to your wall and taped your mouth. Oh my goodness. Why would I do that? <laughs> she feeds me. Oh my gosh. She taught me how to do resin today. We did little oh, resin yeah. crafts. Five versus like 14 smoke screen. I apparently have the experience of a 14 year old when it comes to resin. They said I was like a little kid today when I was staring at it. Clover says justice for Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Justice for Abigail. Oh, Baron says, Cypress, thank you for being here. Aww, you are so welcome. Y'all are sweet. Audrey would like you to leak the title video for Sunday. It is my 45k special. The wish is my command. My screen says the legal working age is 14, you know? <laughs> you really think I waited until I was 14 to get a job? Oh. Technically, it's only... I found this out the other day. Technically, it's only illegal, at least here, if your parents report you. And I also hear it's illegal if you, like, work more than a certain amount of hours. Well, if they report you. Oh. Uh, well, obviously. Right. So, like all crimes, it's only illegal if you're caught. Wow. I... Don't... Don't take that seriously, children. I want to be a good role model. Do the speed limit and all that. Mm -hmm. You're in cheese land. A three year old can have one kid <laughs> if the parents are fine with it. Cheese that land. sounds wonderful. I'm all for government uninvolvement. Australia's very awesome. We can get something delivered for free from Starbucks. We can? Why would we want Starbucks? I don't know. You don't want a cake pop? A what? A cake pop. What is that? It's like a little piece of cake. 
Why would she just eat cake on a plate? Uh, this is this way. I'm very confused. It's a life. Is it special cake? Style. It's a style? So I just nice. use cousins. All my cousins are ancient. All mine are too. My youngest one is like 35. Both my parents were younger siblings. Unfortunate. Well, okay, I do have a few cousins that are my age, but uh, they won't talk to me. So. Uh, I basically don't have any cousins. Your local warrior says, in all caps, you don't know what a cake pop is, Cyprus. Well, I'm an uncultured swine. What do you want from me? <laughs> you also Abigail is the only reason I have any exposure to culture at all. And what did you call Elite? The desserts I make? Yes, yeah, she makes Elite desserts. Right. Yes. She makes this thing called profiterole, which is like a puffy thing, and she like shoots whipped cream inside of it, and it, and then she puts chocolate on top, and it is so good. Wow, do you like chocolate covered vegetables? Oh my goodness, do I ever? I should make those. I have though. dreams about those. <laughs> Sawyer says Abigail is our savior. Well, she's mine too, so we all agree. <laughs> Are you responsible for a murder, any murder? Well, I mean, not of any people. We want you to eat a cake pop. <laughs> they want you to eat one. You don't know what cake pops are? I love this crowd you have. A what? I said I love this crowd you Oh yeah, yeah it's a fun group. Abigail should start a YouTube channel, you'd watch that. A day in the life. Somebody who works all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness, why am I drawing pad glitching? So I found out the other day why my drawing tablet's been having so much trouble. Something chewed through my cord. Oh boy. So it's all exposed. Oh and boy. I have a new drawing tablet, like sitting in my desk. I just don't want to open it. It's literally the same type as this. I don't even have to install a new driver. I could just playing random songs. Naughty Spotify. Okay. Although that is a fabulous song. Most well, Tree says all the Florida men got your cord. <laughs> what? You know the Florida man? All the Florida men got your cord. <laughs> Cypress, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Can we switch up all the and imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with These expectations, they keep weighing me down Abigail's the best. Yes, we both agree on that. Cypress, do you have a pet? Indeed I do. His name is Bandit. He's a pathetic dog. But he's a sweetie. He's like a healer kind of hula mix. He's, so he's kind of medium sized. Sometimes we need global warming. Bro, if it gets any warmer, I'm gonna melt into a little sad puddle. I need global cooling right now. We can favor deliver makeup. Why would we want makeup? I don't know, but I can get it. I'm Do you use makeup? Oh, I would get Dairy Queen. <laughs> uh, like either it's an Eminem or an Oreo Blizzard. No, I'm classic. What's up, Oreo Blizzard? What's the I have no flipping idea. A Royal Blizzard's like fancy and vegan, maybe more expensive for sure. Maybe it's just a marketing gimmick. If it gets any warmer, I suggest you move to Canada, heck even Finland. Finland is nice. 
I've heard that about Finland. Unfortunately, I am in love with Texas, like to an unhealthy degree. Unfortunately. Yes, I'm never moving. My uncle's actually thinking about moving to Florida right now. He hasn't decided yet. I know, I would miss him. He's got horses though, and he can't leave the horses because they're basically his kids. So he's trying to decide if he wants to wait until his horses die because they're all like pretty old. Um, or if he wants to take them to Florida with him. Right? So yeah, he's in a rough spot either way. He used to train up until like 10 years ago and then he was too old and too busted up. Yeah. But now he flies aeroplanes. Because he is exactly the man you want to see behind the stick of an aeroplane. And that is sarcasm. Our star, our sandstone and starfin is shit. Indeed they are. I kind of want to do a video about their story, actually. That would be fun. What is your opinion on mint chocolate chip ice cream? Gross! It's an abomination. I love it. But I also hate mint, so bad. I used to know someone who lived in Florida. I've heard Florida is nice but humid. I believe it. But doesn't doesn't Florida have alligators? I can't I can't have alligators. <laughs> Snakes are about as much as I can handle. You should sing while you draw. I am on and off. Do I want food? I could eat. Tenders? Mm, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know if I'm hungry enough for a burger. I ate eats earlier. I could go for tenders because those I could eat. I'm not getting a junior-sized hamburger. I'm an adult. I'm fire. I pretty much have to get kids stuff at Whataburger though. Their stuff is huge, and if it's not a day that I work, I don't have like the appetite for the big stuff. I can get chicken tenders. We can share. That sounds perfect. Are you talking about Dairy Queen? Yeah. Can we get ice cream too? Yes. Yay. <laughs> Guess what, guys? I'm getting ice cream. Your humming is beautiful. Aww. You guys are so nice to me. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I know. It's so sweet. My friend lives in Florida and she says that the crocodiles there are terrible. Yeah, I feel like crocodiles anywhere are terrible. If we're getting drinks, can I get Dr. Pepper? I'll pay you back. Yeah, there was um, something in my county the other day where, well, not the other day. I say that. It was a couple months ago. Um, and apparently in the 70s, some guy drove around, like, selling baby alligators out the back of his pickup truck. Um, and people would just, like, stick them in their tank, because that's what you do with an alligator, obviously. Um, and a while ago, um, so apparently alligators live a really long time. And a while ago, people started, like, finding adult alligators in their tanks. Because they, like, there's not really many things around here that would eat an alligator, so they just stuck around, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so there's, like, all these alligators popping up in people's tanks right now. Like, big, full-grown, you know, old alligators. It's hilarious in a terrifying way. I don't actually get Dairy Queen much. Culver's for the win. I've never heard of Culver's. I don't get Dairy Queen very often because I'm not actually a huge fan of their food. But I will get them for the ice cream on occasion. The, the Dairy I don't like the Dairy Queen in this town. It's very sus. But beggars can't be choosers. No, we can get Dairy Queen out. I mean, I don't mind. I like the ice cream. Sure. I do. Thank you.
Can I get those? I'll pay you back. I'll pay you yes. What would you do if there's a baby right in front of you? I would hold him. I got to hold a baby the other day after work. And his mom, I know it was so fun. And his mom was like, oh, he's really, because I was having back problems like I always do after work. And he was like, oh, I don't know if you want to hold him. He's pretty heavy. And I was like, there's no way he's heavy compared to what I've been picking up. And I picked him up and I was like, oh yeah, I can't even, he's like weightless. And she was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. So I got to hold him for like half an hour and he's such a cute baby. He's so, he's very quiet and well behaved because he was like really overwhelmed. But he was a sweetie. He was obsessed with my glasses. My boss keeps bringing her new grandbaby to work. And pretty much as soon as she gets to the office, like, all work completely stops. But, um, she is so cute. She just learned how to walk. And it's so fresh on us. Yes. I'm kind of pulling this talon out of thin air, so if it looks strange, it's because I have no idea what I'm doing. Have to go pick it up. Are you gonna bring it here? Yeah. Really? How fancy. If you missed it, Culver's is the best restaurant. I will fight someone. Culver's is the Midwest, but it started here in Wisconsin. You live in Wisconsin? I went to Wisconsin once. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. There's a guy, I think he's from Wisconsin, who does hilarious videos. What's his name? The Midwest guy. The F the Packers guy. I can't think of his name! Charlie Barons! Have any of y'all seen Charlie Barons on YouTube? He is so funny. He did a video the other day like, what if aliens went to the Midwest or something? It's funny. He's funny. Have you ever been to Montoya? Nope! I hear it's gorgeous out there though. Montoya? If I couldn't live in Texas, from what I've heard, I think I would want to live in Montoya. What are we talking about? Montana! Look! Don't say a word. Don't say a word. I'm very tired. Montana. I knew it sounded wrong. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. You shut your mouth. I felt to glow. The warmth inside me it kept me afloat. But my temper, I felt my bones. Can you tell my is great. My aunt lived in Australia for a little while. Go <laughs> away. You go You're away. Tittering laugh. I'm not tittering. I'm just snickering. No, that's that's giggling. That's like that's evil laughter. Snickering is like what I did. Body and hovered above me. Neoni is a very good face. Oh my goodness, yes. Your favorite food! Uh, barbecue! Or, like, my mom has this really good cheesy potato casserole that I love. Yourmom.com I think your singing voice is beautiful, by the way. Thank you! You guys are so nice to me! Everybody says I have a beautiful voice and I'm crying! I don't really sing very much, like, I mean, I sing a lot to myself. People are asking if I sing. Um, not really. The only place that I would really do it would be in church, so. People in church let me have a nice voice too, actually. I know. 
We just got a horse. He's a year old. He was rescued from a kill pen and was rehabilitated. He is so sweet and docile. He loves samples. That is awesome. That's good. Yeah, my my dad's side of the family is very much like horse people. <laughs> I used to get to ride horses when I was younger, and I, I didn't intentionally stop, but we rode, like, my granddad's horses, and he passed away, so that we just, like, never rode anymore, and I think if I had, like, one life regret, it was that I never got to, like, get into horse riding, you know? So I would have liked to ride, but I didn't get to past the age of, like, ugh. Oh, Ten, maybe? Gosh. He says, inconceivable. 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 One time I rode a horse, I was allergic to the dirt when I first like, broke out of the hives. Oh my goodness! That's terrible! I'm so sorry that happened to you! sell some of ours. <laughs> the thing about horses is that, um, unfortunately, unlike many types of livestock, they are very expensive to own, and these days they don't really have as much of a practical use. Like, you can't eat them, obviously, and most folks just, at least in this part of the country, use ATVs um, and, like, forerunners and things for, um, like, what horses would have been used for. So horses tend to be more of a pleasure animal for riding and stuff. Um, and I mean, obviously I have nothing against horses. I love them. But it means, it's not like cows, you know? If you like cows, they're relatively, you know, they're easy to have because it's, you know, you can sell them. Um, but horses, they're kind of just like a money pit. A beautiful, beautiful, lovely money pit that I adore. But if you can't, you know, make a business out of them, they're very expensive to have. Now, you know, in the olden days, it was a different story because people didn't have, you know, cars. Also, they didn't have the biggest horse guys in the U.S. I mean, I'm not saying that they're, like, not a thing anymore, obviously, because, like, my whole family are horse workers. They breed horses and train horses and stuff like that. Um, just... For like, unless you have a business around them, they're expensive to own. There are still parts of the country in the world too where people use horses like as transportation, like in the hill country and stuff too, where the terrain's too difficult for vehicles. Um, where I live is just that's not the case though. My dad always has horses. Fine. Yeah, they pretty much do. And I mean, I do like horses. Don't get me wrong. But see, I'm not that practical animal anymore. I mean, things like cows and goats or you know pigs are always gonna be practical because you eat those. You can always make your money back with those animals. Or yes, I eat them. I find them quite delicious. Yes, my uncle owns some. They are so expensive. Also, sorry if you guys said it that way. Um, yeah, horses do tend to be expensive, as previously established. But they're good animals. Horses are, they're kind of special, you know? They, they have a soul to them. I was a horse kid when I was younger. 
Before I was in the dragons, I was in the horses. Okay, just me or cows like so freaking cute, like to the point I can't even once I check myself and forgetting where the meat came from. I do think cows are cute, but I have never had a problem eating them, I'll admit. As I once told somebody, my favorite thing about cows is how they taste. Although, what I think is kind of nice um, is if you're actually around cows, you'll find that beef cows tend to be more aggressive um, and dairy cows tend to be more friendly, which dairy cows are the ones that you like keep forever and make friends with because, you know, if you eat that cow, now you can't get milk from it. Um, and beef cows obviously have a pretty quick turnover rate, so I think it's kind of cool. Smokescreen says, give me that damn burger. Exactly. I do love cows, like, to an unhealthy point. Okay. But I also love hamburgers to an unhealthy point. Okay, this leg is just not doing it for me. She's about to lose a leg. So real, also sort of longhorns, they're so cute. Cow longhorns are pretty. I live near someone who is uh, rich enough to have longhorns basically as yard art, but they're pretty cool looking. I have a friend who lives in Maryland who had never seen a longhorn before, and so I sent her some pictures and she thought they were pretty neat. Bro just had steak. I'm actually not a huge steak fan. I know, it's strange. I would rather have like fajitas or something. Fajita meat is one of my favorite parts of the cow. Yep. The raffle for the mood board dragon, but I didn't see anything else posted on it. Also, the cutest cows are brown. I love Brahma cows. Um, and the, the winners were announced it on my community tab. I just never ended up making a video about it because things happened. Um, so the winners are over there. It was not the best place to post them, I realize. But like I said, things happened. Whenever I was are adorable and I want one but they're too expensive. I actually prefer larger cows. I think they're so cute. It's visually the babies. You know what would be kind of cool fan tribe? Weakling tribes. Weakling types with animal sleep powers. That would be kind of neat. But that would be like, at least if I wrote it, that'd be more like just a weakling offshoot. Oh. 
just texted me I L Y. <laughs> That's sweet. You never text me. They'd charge him anyways. I can tell you this from experience. Who are you drawing, Cypress? Uh, some of season mine. Do y'all want a video about Star Starfin and Sandstone story? That's a tongue twister. This will give you thunder, right? You should do a funny voice for every chat message you read. That'd be fun. I do funny voices too often. Usually unintentionally. I just can't turn it off. Well, that's neat. <laughs> well, it's never gonna happen, because I doubt I will ever be in Mississippi, but you keep dreaming, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Speaking of sweetheart, and like, states and stuff, so y'all know how there's like, I got a funny story to tell. Y'all know how there's like, different, like, colloquialisms, or like, different slang in different parts of the USA? So down in the south, like, sweetheart is kind of something that you say, like, not just to people you're dating, you know, like you say it to kids and stuff. Like, I say sweetheart to kids that I don't even know all the time. And down here, that's totally normal. But I was at work one time, and um, I, there was a, this little girl who walked in, and she was looking at our ice cream, and I was like, can I help you, sweetheart? 
And she looked at me all funny. Like, she looked at me like I was a weirdo. And I was like, oh, she must, they must be from around here. I was like, she must think I'm a creep now. <laughs> and what was funny is um, that same family, when they came in to, like, check out, I was like, uh, I forget what, but it was something along the lines of, like, oh, yes, sir, like, this is the price for this or whatever. And he was like, sir, do I look that awful? And I was like, I, like, totally blanked. I was like, I, I just, it was like a, I was being polite. It was funny. They must have been from somewhere a little bit further north, or, I, I suppose. Yeah, that's cool, though. It was funny, though. Here in Wisconsin, saying this is saying for ya, oh, and oh yeah, you betcha. Yeah, see, I know that because I watched that Charlie Barron's guy. <laughs> I actually, I say oh. Not the same way as Wisconsinians do. <laughs> I'll say it. I do say it at the time, so. My dad travels to Texas a lot and someone said, bless your heart, and he didn't know what it meant. Later one of his coworkers told him. Well, the problem with a lot of things down here is that they mean, um, they can mean very different things depending on the situation and the tone and who's saying it. So, like, sometimes it can be really hard to know what on earth somebody's saying to you. Like, bless your heart, for instance, can mean several different things. Are you gonna finish this tonight? Probably not. My back already hurts, and I have a date with Ruby tonight. <laughs> and Dairy Queen. And Dairy Queen. Cypress, cows are very common in India, by the way. Aren't cows sacred in India? That's what I thought. I mean that as a genuine question, not as any kind of disrespect. <laughs> I thought everybody said, bless your heart, this is what it's like living in Texas. Well, I guess, like, wherever you grow up, that's just, like, what you think is regular, you know? Unless you move around a bunch and you experience a lot of different, like, cultures and speaking cultures and things. Do you do anything other than drawings? Well, about two hours ago, I tried to paint some pants, um, and I don't like Amazing. Abigail likes how they turned out. I do not. I will be trying again later. I have, like, a sunflower stencil that I was using. Uh, I don't like how it turned out. But I will try again, because I have plenty of old pairs of jeans to try on. Yes, it is very, very common in media. Well, good for y'all. How's it fun? Are you having a good day, y'all? Indeed, I am. It's so funny to me that y'all isn't, like, actually part of the English language. Because, like, what are you going to say? You all? All y'all. I mean, there it does get weirder when you get into some of the other ways people say, like, when all y'all have done this, or y'all of, you know, like, the different yeah. contractions people just fabricate with it. But the word itself is, like, super handy. Yeah, true. Oh my goodness, I'm starving again. It comes on so suddenly and so randomly. I ate half a pizza already today. What is wrong with me? Yikes. All she had before was toast. Okay. I had... It was very hearty toast. And I had, like, chocolate also. Oh, that's such a good food item. Yes, it is. And I had... Zinc? Tablets? You had zinc tablets. Yes, I ate the toast so that I could have the zinc tablets, actually. I wouldn't have eaten that otherwise. Didn't want to eat anything at all. You say everyone? That's so many syllables! Hey everyone, how are y'all today? <laughs> I said it anyways. Hey everyone, how are you today? Hey everyone, how are you all today? Ugh. It's like so weird and formal. 
Hey y'all, how are you today? That's much better. It is strange. I'm confused. The what movie? The Wonka movie. They're doing another one of those? Yeah, it's coming out in December. Cool. We gotta I'm see. Not invited. I'm not invited? No. Okay. I'm gonna go myself. Okay. We gotta see Gran Turismo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I see Gran Turismo? Blue Beetle? Uh, I'm not super excited about that one. Yeah, me neither. I can't believe they made the Scarab a girl. The Scarab a boy? Yes! I know we've had this conversation before. Uh, maybe we have. Also, it's really weird if it's a girl because it's like in his head. It's way less weird if it's a boy. Even though technically it's alien technology. But. Yeah, the movie comes out this weekend. Oh, does it? Like, not today, this weekend. Oh, right, it's like the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Studio C, the old cast, is doing a movie, like a comedy sketch about going west, and I really want to see that. But I don't know if it's going to come to our theater. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Or what the like movies coming out soon? Oh yeah. I think since it's like a smaller indie production, it's starting off only in some states. Gotcha. Hey, they're playing a trailer for Gran Turismo. That movie looks fun, and I don't even like NASCAR. That's not NASCAR. What? It's racing, isn't it? NASCAR is the North American stock. What? Then what do they do in the South? North American, bro. Oh. Wait, so what's that then? No, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not a racing fan. It's Formula One. Oh, I thought that was just with the curvy cars. Like the like the skinny ones. I thought that was a type of car. Wow. So that's that's like a racing business? Formula One is like... So Formula One's like NASCAR? But are they like a business like NASCAR? Yes. Okay. Formula One cars are much like I thought, more. I kind of thought NASCAR was like the name of the sport. No, NASCAR is a North American stock car association race. Well, clearly I'm uneducated. See, guys, this is why Abigail is the only um, culture I have access to. National Association of Stock Car Race. Never mind, that's the end. So, yeah. So those stock cars are versus, you know, like Indy cars and hmm. cars. Okay. We could go see Barbie. We're not gonna go see Barbie. If you really, really wanted me to go with you, I would go and suffer. Bobby. Didn't you go see Oppenheimer? I tried. It was the most. Boring. Oh, that's right. That's the one you walked out of. I want to see Transformers again. Yeah. Oh yeah. We could go to the mall and go see Gran Turismo right now. What? No. I refuse to go anywhere as crowded as a mall. No.
I am so excited for Ruby. Yeah. I still think season three has been my favorite. That was yeah. when they were walking through the forest, right? With Ren and Nora. Or was that was that four? No, I think that was four. Okay, yeah, then four has been my favorite. Yeah. But five was pretty dang good too. Yes, it is. Man, the plot twists in this last one. The last season of Ruby we watched, the last thirty minutes or so was devastating. Yes. It hurt. Cypress, do you have any suggestions for my first school dance? I know it's random and I'm nervous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, is it like a dance that you're going to? I didn't ever go to public school, so I may not be the best person to ask for help here. I've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, and what do you think of the movie compared to the show? I will not speak of the movie E.T.'s trash. And I have seen the show, it's very good. Sokka's my favorite. But isn't he ever nice? Well, everybody who does love Sokka. Fire, have leaf speak if so does she like cows uh nope and yes she probably would Whew, i am super tired this is gonna be a short stream i'm running out of steam oh yeah i need food I that's probably why that right it's okay i don't want your gross vegetable pizza but thank you no i said i can i can go eat it never mind then. Barbie, let's go party. Cyrus, the people need to know. Do you like Pokemon? Log screen says the people there must know. I have never played Pokemon <laughs> ever. Log screen says there are two movies I'm glad never happened. Pacific Rim 2 and Avatar on the Last Airbender. Mm. Pacific Rim 2 was awful. It really was. I need to watch Pacific it. Rim? No, I need to watch it. You need to. Do you like Gundam? What? Like giant metal robots? Oh yes I do. Okay, then you like that. You know I like giant metal robots. I do. It's quite amazing. You play Minecraft? Nope. But your mom did. No, she doesn't. What are you talking about? Oh, you guys the new Haunted Mansion. I don't want to see a scary movie. It's not scary, it's a Disney, like the Disney ride. I definitely don't want to see a Disney movie. You're mean. I hate Disney. You love it. Mm -mm. Encanto is the only movie that Disney has done recently that was we even kind of good. We don't talk about Encanto. No, no, no. It's Bruno. You like my wedding day. That movie was pretty good. I should probably watch it again. What I don't get is the one girl was super eerie. She was living in the walls the whole time. Yep. I will know. It was really a sad and depressing. An hour and 40 minutes. Apologies, people, about the 
doggies. Ginger baby, it's okay. Ginger, come here, baby, I'll pay you. Ginger. Hey, Truffy. Who's this lady? I'll pet you. I'm very sorry. I painted a door for like eight hours yesterday, so my arms, they don't feel so nice. Who is your favorite villain? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Probably Darkstalker. He's fun. Darkstalker or Vulture? He was a good villain. Oh my goodness, she's so grumpy. That's funny. Dogs eat the man who's bringing us the ice cream. It's a woman. Oh, never mind. Don't let them eat the woman. Ginger, come here. Ginger, come here, baby. Give me, baby, Ginger. Hi. Oh, Ginger, Ginger, come back. Ginger, Ginger, return to me. Return. All right, guys. The live stream is saved. I have food which will give me. And just so y'all know, she's wearing two different colored socks. Yes. I have a black Star Wars sock and a pink sock with wine on it. Are you going to eat that? Right now? Oh my goodness, While that's huge. While you drink your Dr. Pepper, it's a medium. I can't. I'm never eating <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. I am going to eat it. I'm going to If gonna... you want a small. Uh, I probably should have told you. She didn't get me any whipped cream on my... That's okay. No. Oh, this is super good. Is this M&M? Yummy. Yeah, all right, guys in the chat, what, what what's your favorite thing to get from Dairy Queen? Dog's name is Ginger. You're gonna add that to the wiki. <laughs> she's not my dog. She's Abigail's dog. Oh my gosh. Cypress lives with a landlord. Don't I don't live with her. I just stay here a lot. Really? I live here part time. I am your landlord. But it's a woman came off so mean. I wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> It's because I'm a meanie. Ice cream or whatever Dairy Queen calls it. When we were kids, back when there was only five of us, so a million years ago, we were super, super broke. So when we got to get Dairy Queen, my dad would get a large, and then we would all, like, split it. <laughs> you good? Yeah. You good. When I was, like, 13 or 14, we finally got to the point of financial stability to where we could two kids could eat split a mini and that was like a joyous change in circumstance because that meant you could pick your own flavor oh wow mm -hmm. it was amazing mm -hmm. and now i have a job and i get dairy queen very often <laughs> brownie and hot fudge blizzard i've had that it's pretty good we don't have it in australia Ooh, that's rough it's not like dairy queen is like Amazing or something. You know what Australia does? We don't have what? Mars bars. Isn't that just like a chocolate bar? Yeah, Mars bars. <laughs> okay. Have you had one? Yeah, but like oh, really? they, don't, they don't generally sell them here. You can get them like. Oh. Cool. So the Blizzard cool. specifically mint Oreos. That does sound good if I would like mint, which I don't. But you do I don't get Dairy Queen, I get Culver's like a respectable Wisconsinite. When I was in Wisconsin, I got to try frozen custard and it was super good. Frozen custard? Mm hmm. It was like ice cream but less sweet, kind of, if I remember correctly. It was a long time ago. Like gelato but less sweet. Never had gelato. Isn't that, isn't that just ice cream? The, like fancy? You bought me some gelato. I bought you. Oh yeah, but I didn't try any of it. I think my mom ate the rest of it. Because you left it, remember? Australia. And she was like, Well, if she's not coming back, I'm going to eat this fancy, fancy ice cream. And I was like, she wouldn't mind. And then she ate it. Very 
What's your favorite tribe and favorite character? Um, favorite tribe is probably Seawings or Shanwings, and my favorite character is Keebly. I don't watch sports. And if I was gonna watch sports, no offense, but I would watch a fun sport. Like NASCAR. I only kind of like NASCAR because I used to watch it with my dad when I was a baby. My mom has a really great picture of my dad and her dad, so my granddad, when they were supposed to be babysitting me. But I was awake on the couch and they were both asleep with the race on. Oh boy. I got a curd burger and I want cold birds to make them again. What is that? Isn't isn't curds like a cheese thing? Cheese curds. Was it like a burger just with extra cheese? Fried cheese curds are a thing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess you can fry anything. <laughs> you can fry Oreos. Yeah, I've had fried Oreos. Did All right. Well, we're done drawing for a minute. I have to eat huh. so I don't die. Cypress, can you turn off slow mode? Sorry, I cannot. I did that one time, and the chat literally blew up. It literally blew up. Mm-hmm. Mostly get Sonic or Wendy's. I live like two minutes away from Sonic. Huh. I don't get Sonic ice cream very much. I mostly get their drinks. And I, I don't have a Wendy's near me, so it's been a while. Will you ever do a face reveal? Nope. A giant fried cheese curd on top of a cheeseburger. They were originally made as a April Fool's joke, but Wisconsin demanded it, so they made it once. Sold up for hours. That is cool. Hmm. What are you eating? Ice cream before my dinner, which I'm very naughty. Will you do a Wings of Our Characters fruit? Probably not. <laughs> Ginger. Be nice. Ginger. Baby girl. I pet you. Oh, you sweet doggy dog. I love your dogs. Abigail's dogs are the only small dogs I like. I don't like small dogs other than hers. I'm special. <laughs> well, you dogs are. Smoke screen says dog want nope. food. No. Nope. Jackie it. the artist says, what Get is here. your dog doing? Currently they are trying to climb onto the couch and take our chicken. Oh, duh, the time is right there. Sometimes I swear I'm stupid. How is the safe and sound game becoming? Uh, <laughs> slowly! Ginger is angry once again. How to the superior ginger? She's not angry, she's sad. I'm not letting her eat my chicken tenders. Her breed of dog is the irritant destructive type. Yeah. Yeah, I know. She barks a lot. She's just very protective of Abigail. Keely and Lynx would interact off ultimate sass battle. Tie your friend up. I'm not being tied up. Uh, well, when I tie her up, she just bought me dinner. Well, make her unsad. Dangerous breed tornado
want. Can you draw a minnow? Which one is minnow? Um, she's like blue and brown. She's from a video I did before our fight started. Oh yeah. Uh, yep. Cyrus, does anyone ever ask you <laughs> why you named yourself after All the time. Thing? We get it, I'm dumb. I'm gonna put this ice cream in your freezer because if I eat it all now I'm gonna die. Fine. <laughs> I'll eat it later tonight when I need the energy to stay awake and watch Ruby. It's a tree, a cypress tree. Oh my goodness. Cypress trees are super big. Ooh, fries. We have fries? <gasps> Just so y'all know, she dipped them in the ice cream. It's good! Which is a superior Texas thing. Okay, Smokescreen wants me to take over your channel. Why is it so dang dark in here? Is this a light switch? <laughs> I don't want to turn over your internet again. You've got corn in your freezer. It's corn! It's corn! It's a big lump of knobs! It has the juice! I gotta oh. add it more! Beautiful. My hips are sore, my arms are sore, my whole body hurts. That's unfortunate. Yep, well, that's what I get for having a job. Don't wake up, said that's it, I'm unsubscribing. No, don't wake up! <laughs> Wait, why are they unsubscribing? Because I dip fries in ice cream? <laughs> I can change! Actually, no. Jackie says Cypress finds the fries. <laughs> I didn't know we had fries. Delicious. Yeah. If you draw sand, we can drown in sand. Sounds very depressing. Mm -hmm. I got my fry in my ice cream. Oh, it's gone forever. Oh my god. Did you get much it? You want to dip it? No, thank you. Oh. Oh. I have so many teeny tiny scratches on my legs right now, specifically around my ankles because I have kittens and I go on walks in the morning and like, um, so I wear tennis shoes, obviously, and I get home and my kittens like love my shoelaces. <laughs> and usually I wear like flats or boots, so I don't really have shoelaces. Yeah. And they freak out and they get all excited and they like attack my feet and they scratch my legs all to heck. So my legs are super scratched up right now. Oh boy. They're very sweet kittens. The strange one has been renamed to Captain James Buchanan Barnes. The that one. It's so though. Yeah, I know, but we never name our cat the right name for their gender. We put that age in the middle. We had a girl cat named Indiana Jones and a girl cat named James Buchanan Barnes and a girl cat named Zuko and a girl. We have a lot of girl cats. Yeah. Hi, Truffy. Truffles are sweetie. No kittens, what breed are they? Um. Wild forest cat, I guess. We got them from the pound. I mean, I know that cats have breeds, but I've only ever had mutts, if that's the case. One of my coworkers has a dog named Charles Barkley. <laughs> That's a good name. I know. We have a geek at work named Charlie right now. I said baby mini. His leg, his leg was broken, like facing the entirely the wrong way. So I thought we were gonna have to put him down because those chicksies don't make it. And my boss like put his leg in the right direction and then splinted it, and it's it fixed it. It worked. That thing is walking. Well, he's walking wobbly, but he's walking. So we're naming him. Ch well, it's we don't know if it's he or she. It's hard to sex them when they're that young. But we're naming him Charlie because that can go both ways. Wow. Yeah. It's a miracle. That's good. Got a cat named Trouble and another named Chaos because sometimes the Forest Chronicles. Huh. How satisfying! It's to get the kitten's noses. They don't hold very still. It's better when you're sitting on the couch and they fall asleep on you. This morning I had grand plans of doing super productive things as soon as I got back from my walk, but I sat on the couch to take my shoes off and 
Captain James Buchanan Barnes, our kitty with the broken tail, came and sat on my chest and fell asleep, and I was like, well, now I can't move. I didn't do a butt thirty minutes. Because that's the law, you know, when a chit when a uh, kitten falls asleep on you, you have to stay there. I think I'm about done drawing, so we'll hang out until I am ready to end the stream. But I'm out of energy entirely. Some Bruce had a cat named Sergeant Peppermint. Get the story, please. I'll do anything. Okay. Um, the other day I was sitting on the couch and I was wearing a skirt because I tend to wear skirts when I'm not at work. Um, and it's like a long one that goes to my ankles. And I got up from the couch and I had three kittens on the inside of my skirt. So I was just standing by the couch shaking kittens out of my skirt. And Barney would not get out. He was like all the way up by my thigh. She was all the way up by my thigh. She was hanging on there pretty hard and I must look like a crazy person. I was saying that, get out, get out, go on. Barney, get! And finally, poor Barney fell out my skirt. <laughs> so there's my kitten story. That OC of yours is looking real spooked. He's supposed to look in pain. He got sliced in the neck. Not enough to be fatal, obviously. My grandma's cat's name is Bandit. She got out one day and came out pregnant. That's how we got our kitties. That's pretty much what happened to me, too. Her name is Roach. That's what I call her. Other people call her other things, but I call her Roach. Too. Yeah, because Abigail thought of that name. And I'm loyal. Um, but her name's Roach, and she got out and came back, and then we had kittens. Unfortunate. What is your opinion on snakes? Mm, they are very cute from long distances. I don't want to be close to them, unless they are in a container. My coworkers. Her husband had her call one of his uh, like repair guys in a different wing of the facility he works, and uh, they were playing a prank on this guy. So she was like, "Hey, uh, there's a there's a rattlesnake slithering across the east wing. What do I do?" And the guy's like, "Uh, uh, just don't touch it." She's like, "Okay." So all these people trying to catch it with their hands. I can tell them no. He's like, "Uh, oh my goodness. uh." That's funny. I know. You keep finding snakes like in the feed room at work. It's very terrifying. Yeah. Are they like bad ones? Uh, just like chicken snakes and stuff, but it's still pretty freaky scary. Yeah. This is Cruz, Dr. Pepper. I'm telling you, you dare to sauce. It's like more acidic than usual. Maybe I'm just tripping. It's delicious. Nothing, no. I love Dr. Pepper too much. Oh, I had really good sweet tea the other day in the gas station in town. Question for my friend. Do you or do you not support furries? Why are we not? I barely know what a furry is, so I'm going to have to call it neutral. Most Creed said I'd shoot the snake. No, bro, be gone. I have to agree. If I find a snake, unless it's like a garter snake or something, and easily recognizable, I'm cutting its head off. I, they're, mm, 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 mm. I've stepped on too many snakes and found too many snakes in my house and in my chicken coop. Its head's going off. They eat my chickens and they eat my eggs. <laughs> that one rain wing says hippopotamonstrososis with Fidel alleophobia. <laughs> I can't believe you read that. That's amazing. <laughs> it's a fear of long words. <laughs> Why do you recognize that word? Ah. Uh. <laughs> no croaks are nightmares. Are nightmares. Yes. I know that they say you're not supposed to kill snakes unless you identify it as poisonous, but I'm not that confident with my identification skills. Like, I saw a garter snake the other day that was pretty big and it had diamonds on it. So it could have been a rattlesnake or it could have been a big garter snake. I'm just not that confident with it. And frankly, I'm not willing to test my luck. I've already been bit by a brown recluse. Like, I've hit my poisonous animal exposure limit. Do you work yeah, the horses? I've, nope, I wish. I've heard that whole, like, if they have oval pupils, they're venomous. And I ain't so getting close enough to check his like, pupils! Ooh, Let me just put my face next to your face! Please don't bite me! Mm. I've heard, too, you can tell by the shape of the head. 
Like, I've heard a lot of different things, but like, I'm not getting close enough to Jet. If I'm getting close to a snake, it's with a very sharp shovel to cut his head off. Yep. Frankly, I don't even like to get that close. I will if I have to, but otherwise I stand very far away and hope it decides to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. What is your first thought on the coral snake in the front of your face? Um, my first thought would be to back the freak up as fast as possible. When Cypress's life is relatable to your own life when it comes to snakes and spiders. Look, I just don't like him. <laughs> I'm only human. I don't like it. I don't like it. If you ask nicely, the snake becomes an extremely distinguished gentleman and lets you examine their eyes. Well, what do you know? I never thought to ask nicely. Ooh. I was too busy screaming and being terrified and shouting angrily. <laughs> I, I, I'm so embarrassing when I find a snake. I do like a terrified hop back and this little girly scream. And it totally destroys my reputation. Very obviously. Yeah. Last time I found one at work, I, I like, we were cleaning out a barn with one of the boys. And I like, I jumped back and I was like, ah! I found a snake! He was like, where? And I was like, it's like this long! And it was like a foot long. <laughs> I was like, it's like this long! And he was like, so it's, it's a garter snake. I was, and I was like, it could be a baby rattlesnake! And he was very polite. He like looked through, it was like a bunch of old feed bags. And of course it kept going deeper in the feed bags. Oh boy. And I'm wearing like steel-toed eight-inch boots. And he's wearing like Crocs. So if one of us is gonna get snake bit, it ain't gonna be me, and I'm still over there being a wussy baby about it. And he was very polite and found the snake and killed it for me, so I could keep working. Because <laughs> if he hadn't found it, I wasn't putting my hands anywhere near the ground. Yeah. <laughs> what is this song's name? It is called Hay. H-A-Y. And I think I have the music um, on the screen. I tried to like do a little screen capture of my Spotify. On the yeah. I'm the same way with cockroaches as you are with snakes. See, cockroaches don't bother me that much. It's not gonna bite me. If I saw a snake wearing a hat, I would think it was cute. I would think it was cute too. Unless I was close to it and see previous incident. Smokescreen said, I flip flop on snakes, but if I see one in real life, then I'm pulling out my second event. <laughs> <laughs> see, I wouldn't shoot a snake just because, like, I'm going to hit it. Yeah, I, I'd have to get pretty close to hit it, and I don't want to waste the ammo. Like, there are so many other things you could use to more reliably and easily kill a snake than splattering it all over the place. Plus, then you have to, like, go get the gun, find your ammo, load it, and, like, the shovel's right there, right? Don't let the snake escape. You have to put it out of its misery now. How did we get on this? Oh, no. I'm instructing children in snake murdering methods. <laughs> this is my first time being on a live channel. I die of excitement. And the first thing they get to hear is me telling kids how to kill snakes. My bad. Some guns, it isn't a question of what you hit, but what you don't hit. Now that's true! If you're using like a shotgun or something, you don't really need to aim. Just point in the general direction and pray your siblings not standing in the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you woke up with a bat in your room a while ago? Like right in your face? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we don't have a lot of bats around here. We had a baby snake in our pool filter a few months ago, and it almost went and picked up and said, "My mom pushed it, a pushed it out the filter, and was sent it into the sewers." Yeah, the only snakes I really don't mind are garter snakes, because those guys are super harmless, and snakes are good, because like, I mean, they do eat like mice and rats and stuff. But I don't want to see it. Are you take a snake home or a frog home? Definitely a frog. I like frogs much more than snakes. Hi Cypress, how are you doing? I am doing good. I have food and ice cream and I'm about to end the stream and watch anime. So, all in all, I'm doing very nice. Thank you. Cypress Snake Killing 101. Yep. 
the future. Did you just eat a tender with no gravy? I didn't want to go through the trouble of dipping it in the gravy. You're like, I shall be handed over to the like, Southern Eating Tribunal for punishment. So this? The lid's still on it because you didn't help. take it off. I need help. Thank you. There you go. Eat your gravy, woman. Thank you. It's just so crunchy. It's awesome. I'm having trouble eating it. Don't judge. I have a horrible video of my sister eating Dairy Queen gravy with a spoon. And this is not like amazing gravy. This is like packet and water gravy. My mom used to work at Dairy Queen. She would know. Yeah. No. But I have a video of her eating it with a spoon. It's horrible. We don't get many bears here. Yeah. I've never heard of a bear problem near us. I have held a snake before. Like a like a pet snake. One of the families that comes to our co-op, um, they raise snakes. And on science weeks, they bring a big snake, I think a boa. And they bring something else for kids to hold. And they have glow-in-the-dark scorpions that they bring too, which are pretty cool. Yeah. Dipping is too much effort. I'm on her side. Well, in my defense, I've had a long week. And this week, yeah. My favorite quote is, "That means they were eating about three spicy." I don't even know that word. A minute at the coastline. They were eating about three spicy over a minute at the coastline. Are almost fancy guards? I've got no idea. Personally, I just pick up non-venomous snakes when I see them and relocate them to the woods, whether I eat them or not. By the way, snake barns aren't that bad if they're less than eight feet long. You must live in a place with a lot of snakes. And you are clearly a lot more confident than I am in your snake identification skills. Where I live, we have a lot of copperheads, which are very poisonous. And we have a lot of snakes that looks uh, we have a lot of snakes that look just like copperheads. And if you're like me and you don't like and you're not able to tell them apart very easily, you just don't get the chance. Trust me, if I thought I could safely relocate snakes, I probably would. But they just freak me out. I'm only human. Uh, I do not know what to say about the Dairy Queen gravy. You and me both, buddy. I didn't know what to say either, except for, like, crying in the booth. It's like 10 p.m. when we did that. <laughs> I don't even know why our Dairy Queen was open at night. Oh, would you name a mouse in the If I found a mouse in my pool and it wasn't dead... Or David? Um, I would probably get it out with a bucket. Last time I picked up a mouse, it freaking bit me. Yeah, and it hurt very, really freaking bad. Very and I almost got really freaking sick. I ain't touching no mice no more. Um, but I wouldn't name it, I would just say it was sing for us. I don't know the song. Baby, Ginger. Oh, Ginger. Ginger put her claws on my poison ivy. My dog claw your poison ivy. Accidentally. I don't know the song. Either. Maybe this song? Hey. 
I wish that you could save me From my isolation It's way too complicated to Stop this conversation Say so you found a mouse and your friend aimed at Mickey Mouse, what would you think or do? I would think that friend was crazy and I would proceed to ignore them because I am kind of cold like that. <laughs> Look, live in the country, okay? I do. Yes, you do. Well, I mean, not anymore, but you did. Sadly. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm cute either way. <gasps> what animation name are you planning on doing next? It's a meme called Choice. It's going to get, it's going it's going together really well. What would you do if you had entered the wings of our universe? I would run. Kind of random, but who's your favorite Ninjago character? Kai and Moro. Right? And Lloyd. But mostly Kai and Moro. And Pixel and Skylar. I really only listen to 80s Rockets because the animated Transformers movie and the music in it. Listen to You Got the Touch and Dare in the Transformers movie and the worst spoilers. You Got the Touch and Dare? I'm writing that down. I'm so into Transformers right now, it's sad. In fact, I was listening to my Megatron and Optimus Prime playlist today, unbeknownst to Abigail. What? That's what we were listening to in the car. I didn't know that. Yep. <laughs> well, before we started listening to the Spider-Verse soundtrack. What's my danger? No, the, the second movie. He twists the second movie. Say, what's that danger? That's all words I know. Don't take me. So, this is the movie. It's three hours long. Woo! So if we start now, we'll be done at... Oh, 11. That's not bad. And then we can watch another movie! That's true, that's true. We can watch, what is it, Great Escape? Yeah. We can watch that. Okay, isn't Great Escape a book? Come on! The Great Escape was a movie with um, that guy who was in Wanted Dead or Alive. You know those movies? You don't know those movies? Those no. are like the bonanza of my childhood. Have you seen Bonanza? Yeah, I'm cultured! Yes, we those covered were this. such good movies! They're like, they're super clean westerns. We used to watch them. That's good. You like Transformers. Do I ever like Transformers? She has a crush on... I do not! And zip your lips, woman! I just like everything about it. Aww. Okay! Yes! We're gonna have to end the stream before she betrays me entirely. I bet y'all can guess her favorite character. Why don't you shut your mouth? Jeez. <laughs> Betrayal. All right, guys. We're going to end the stream. Yeah. I have important oh, anime so to watch. Cool. My favorite character had a mental breakdown last season. I and I, I need to find out what happens. Oh. Smokescreen, stop guessing. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's against me tonight. Oh. Thank y'all for coming. It was, it was fun. We'll do it again soon. Y'all have a blessed night. I'm ending it. Stop giggling at me, fool.